good day and welcome to the video. So, uh, my name is Edwin and uh, this is Wally. So today we'll be showing you how to set out a point using the Comnav C200 total station. So we already have all the bits of the points with us here already. So we we'll just do our intention. That is enter the body bits of our station point and we'll take our back side where we set out along the road. So before we continue, you do want to follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and of course on YouTube, you do want to subscribe, like, share, comment on your suggestions and your questions about this video and also what you like to see on our next video. Okay, so we want to do our orientation so for that we'll go to menu go to data collect so type in the code the project we we'll use so type in the name so we are using geoso test as the name so we'll just type geoso test So this is the name of our project, so we'll click on OK. It will tell us that there's no file like that, so we are creating a new file, so we'll click on Yes. So we we'll created a project, so we'll go to Occupation Point, which is to enter the coordinate of the instrument point. So click on 1 and enter the name of the station point, which is P1. So we'll type in P1. as our occupation point name then we'll go to code which is op then the height of instrument is 1.615 we'll measure that before now so that's the height of our instrument so for the eastern coordinate is 565 75749.288 for the nothings we have seven one four five five two point five eight nine point five eight nine so for the height of the the point is six point one three three so we'll go to enter click on enter and the data will be saved so the next we'll do is to take on our back site which is number two click on two so the name of our back site is uh, p2 so we'll type in p2 then the code is ps so which is back site so the height of our reflector is 1.829 then the estate value is 565749.3 okay point 0.434 the nothing is 7145455.2 then the height coordinate is 6.117 so now we'll take uh, by set the point then we'll click on coordinates and click on ok to measure our back side so then we'll measure that then we'll click on ok and give us it will give us a rundown of your observation so if you are okay with that you click on okay so click on okay to save the data so we we'll finish doing our rotation so the next thing to do now is to enter the coordinates of the point we want to center so we'll go to menu go to layout 
so we select the job that I want to use which is Jotes we click on OK so for setting out we we'll click on battery which is layout then we don't have the file of the points we want to set out on our total session so we'll just type in the coordinate by clicking on two so this thing is five six five seven five two point seven two two the nothing is seven one four five four nine point three nine two the height of the reflector is 1.829 so so to locate the point we are using the distance method so we'll click on distance now we'll, the person with the reflector will proceed to where we'll start doing the setting up so what we'll do is we'll rotate the total station to the point where the horizontal value will be showing zero zero so now it's showing minus 14 so we just have to rotate the equipment the total section to the point where we'll get zero so we'll just move the equipment now until we get to zero So what we'll do is we we'll gently move until we get to zero. Sometimes it might be difficult to get zero, but at least if you can get one, it's okay. But we are at zero now. So this is the line of sight. So the line we want the point we want to set at now is on this straight is on this straight line. So the person holding the prism will align to the line of the line of sight of the total station. So is just to make sure the person on this is on the line then you try to measure I'm still trying to align the the I'm still trying to align the prism to the line so take it from the tip of the pole from the bottom end of the pole to the top then we'll measure for the first time So to, now to major, we'll click on major. Okay, so it's giving us minus 0 0.8, meaning the person with the reflector needs to go back a little 0 0.84 meters. So the person will move from the arm. Still try to align again and major again. So this time he has gone beyond the point, so he needs to come towards the equipment. It's 0 0.371 meters distance. So we'll check again. Still on the same straight line. We we'll just measure again. Click on measure. So now it's 0 0.049. So still need to move. A little bit towards the equipment so we'll measure again no so what we have now is 0 0.008 and that is acceptable so we'll set that one point so to go to the next where to click on next then type in the values the coordinate values for the easting and nothings so for our easting we'll have Five six five six five two point five nine five then the nothing is seven one four five five seven point six nine eight okay so we are using the distance again so we'll click on distance now we need to go 100 degrees so we are rotating to the left 100 degrees 
mind you if it is a positive sign on if it, if the angle is positive you move towards your left but if it's negative you move towards your right so we'll try again now to rotate the total station to where we'll get to zero so now we are at one second so we can measure but it's, it's important to try and get zero Okay, so we've aligned the reflector to the point where we can measure on the straight line. So for the first point, we measure and now we need to go back 3 meters. So the person with the, with the prism pole will walk back 3 meters. And we'll try to align again. Okay, so we've done the alignments now we'll click on measure to measure again okay we see having a difference of 0.06 now so it needs to come towards the equipment a little so we'll measure again 0.007 so that is 7 mm so that's okay so to set up the next point we'll click again at next so type in the coordinate again of the point you want to set out so the next point is five six five six five six five seven three nine points one three nine for our nothings we have seven one four five five four okay sorry five four eight point three three zero the out of our reflector is still the same so we'll click on sets and click on distance Now we we'll rotate again 145 degrees towards the left. So we we'll get to zero. So now we're at zero. We'll now try to align the person with the prism towards the line of sight of the total station along the straight line. So we've done that now we'll quickly click uh, click on major so it needs to go back three meters so the person with the prism rod will go back three meters so so we can measure again.
so down the alignment so click on major so we have 0 0.2 so it's still not acceptable so the person with the prism needs to come 0 0.2 meters towards the instrument we'll do the alignment again and measure again so it needs to go back a little so measure again and for that we have 0 0.004 so 4 mm is okay so this is how to set out a point using the commoner c200 total station thank you for watching see you another day